You know, it seems like every time that we talk track, we're talking to sprinters or hurdlers, and we never get to talk to the throwers. That's why I'm kind of excited about this segment as we get a chance to do that, as we're going to talk to some Manus Memorial girls throwers as we bring in an assistant coach. He's a, a, the one that coaches them up. That's Joe Frontier. We also have Riet Thorns and Cynthia Rosales who are joining us as well. A couple of throwers, and thank you all for joining us here today. Ladies, let's start with you. You guys are going on to college. You're going to be throwing there. How did you come about that decision? What was that process like for you? Um, for me, I would definitely say that I wanted to go somewhere where there's a lot of people because I'm a people person and I like to um, talk to a lot of people and meet a lot of different people and also someone that I knew was going to be a father to me like Joe here. Okay, so where, where are you going? I'm going to Grand Valley State in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Very nice, yeah. For me, I just wanted the feel of it, like going to my visit in order to know that that was a place where I could feel like home, mm -hmm. and I found that when I went to Milwaukee. Very nice. All right. Well, congratulations on that. That is Thank good you. stuff. And, Coach, it seems like you have a tradition of kind of doing this and, and bringing girls on and, and having them continue their education and throw in college. How did this all come about? What's the catalyst behind that? Uh, you know, I think early on I had some who, throwers who were convinced that, you know, really working hard uh, year-round and committing to getting better and better at the throws. Um, and some of the athletes who started that tradition, I think, have passed it down uh, to the next group of throwers, the next group of throwers. They know what it's supposed to look like. They know what the expectations are. And if they're willing to do the work, they've found a way to get pretty good at it. And not only do they do the work in that, they do the work in other sports as well. So both of you do multiple sports. How has that helped shape your athletic experience? Um, for me, it's like staying in shape because you also have to like be explosive in basketball and being explosive in the ring. So like that kind of helps with me and also like making sure that I like stay in shape and that my cardio is like not perfect, but you know, up there or where it should be. Just Your basketball team's that. pretty good. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cynthia, how about you? For me, it helped with like leadership and getting to know other teammates and sports and uh, translating it into track. Absolutely. So coach, what does our off season look like? A lot of weightlifting, would you yeah. agree? And uh, Madison Throws Club is a club I started a long time ago that was just really for a few throwers in the Madison area in the Big 8 Conference. And now throwers from Wisconsin, yes, but Illinois and Iowa, Michigan, all travel to Madison and train together almost year-round. Very nice. Okay, we got about 20 seconds left. Girls, if you had, like, advice to give to a young girl who's thinking about becoming a thrower, what is it? Um, my advice would be to always work hard and... Um, take advantage of every opportunity because that's how I'm getting college paid for and I couldn't be more thankful. That sounds like good advice right there. Hey, all of you, thank you so much for joining us and good luck in your futures. Thank you. Thank you.